Medical Dialogues Journal Club, your daily dose of health and medical news. I'm Mr. Zaman and today I'm going to talk about robotic assisted simple prostatectomy versus holmium laser enucleation of the prostate for large benign prostatic hyperplasia. Although both holmium laser enucleation and robotic assisted simple prostatectomy can produce excellent post-operative outcomes, catheter removal time, length of stay, and hemoglobin changes were more favorable in the holmium laser enucleation of the prostate group. On the other hand, post-operative incontinence was more favorable in the RAS-P group. These findings were recently published in Prostate International Journal. Holmium laser enucleation of the prostate, that is HOLEP, and robotic-assisted simple prostatectomy, that is RAS-P, are the two most important therapeutic modalities for large benign prostatic hyperplasia, BPH. However, there are currently no studies comparing these two treatments in a Korean setting. In this study, the authors sought to compare the safety and efficacy associated with these procedures. The authors retrospectively analyzed 59 male participants who underwent holmium laser enucleation of the prostate or robotic-assisted simple prostatectomy at a single center. The following pre-operative data were compared, that is, age, the International Prostatic Symptom Score, that is IPSS, transrectal ultrasonography, uroflowmetry, and hemoglobin. Intraoperative data included operation time and specimen weight. Postoperative data included changes in International Prostatic Symptom Score, uroflowmetry, and hemoglobin. The authors found that catheter removal time and length of stay were significantly shorter in the holmium laser enucleation of the prostate group compared to the robotic-assisted simple prostatectomy group. In addition, post-operative hemoglobin changes were significantly lower in the holmium laser enucleation of the prostate group. However, incontinence rates at one month and two months post-operative in the robotic-assisted simple prostatectomy group were lower than the holmium laser enucleation of the prostate group. The authors noted that these factors must be heavily considered when deciding on surgical method for large BPH. That's all for today. Stay tuned to Medical Dialogues for latest updates. Never miss a medical update from Medical Dialogues. Like, subscribe and press the bell icon.